This trilogy is about two young people coming to terms with themselves, new dreams, and finding love during an anxious time. I made up two characters that were loosely based on my parents, who would have been falling in love about the same time in 1940. What do you mind me sitting here? I don't know you. The first play starts in December 1941, and May is just out of college. She and her fiance have broken up, and she's traveling back home, and it's a, a great state of turmoil and confusion for May. Oh, do you need a handkerchief? I have my own, thank you very much. Well, may I get it for you then, your handkerchief? When we first meet Raleigh, he is uh, just off of a medical discharge from the military, and he's on his way to New York to be a writer. After the Second World War, the country was going through a change. They have to grapple with McCarthyism and sexual assault and the sort of growing sense of um, anxiety. There's a big storm coming, and these characters are having to face the storm with courage and bravery. I had the great privilege of working with Lily Nixay and Eric Odom, who play May and Raleigh throughout the trilogy. Lily Nixay is, um, you'll have seen her as Morgan in um, Boy Meets World. Eric Odom, who plays Raleigh, you also have seen in um, The Twilight Saga. He plays Peter, the nomadic vampire. We then, in the second play, introduce two mothers. So it's Sharon Scharf and Clorinda Ross. And in the final play, we meet Raleigh's sister, played by Feline England. And these actors are so good at um, being in the moment and being real with each other. And I think that's why it's resonated with audiences. We're almost flies on the wall. We watch them at their most intimate moments. We, um, we're present during big life-changing decisions. And that is so fascinating as artists to work on and for an audience to view. Your daddy's always taking care of you, Mae, but you got a husband now. And a, a husband's supposed to look after you, to feed you, to support you. And I'm not doing that. Oh, okay. I do. The beauty of the Nibrock trilogy is that it shows what it really means to make hard decisions in life, what it really means to do the right thing, how that affects your day to day, what choices you personally have to make. I think because the characters are based on people that I know, that they really live and breathe. You really empathize with these characters. They're going through struggles that everyone goes through. They experience life. It, we are watching these characters grow up. Talking to audience members afterwards, I feel like they've made friends with the characters. They, they talk about them as if they know them very well. You get to see these characters that you fell in love with at 21 in their early 30s, but where it goes is really interesting. I don't think May would have ever seen herself <laughs> ending up um, where she does in 1954. It's such a, such a story of hope without being at all trite. Then of course that's, that's the Nimrock trilogy is so full of contradiction which makes it so human. And it's their love and it's finding love between themselves and of their family members that gives them the courage to look to the future. Mm -hmm.